Hey guys, this is Sandesh and uh, I'm currently pursuing a master's in Australia. I'm doing a master's of international business specialized in finance at RMIT University in Melbourne. So I would like to talk about my journey across the last one and a half year that I've been to Australia as a student and I would like to explain how it is different from the Indian way of teaching to my university. So initially I would like to talk about my journey but why, 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 why I would want to pursue a master's. So when I thought of pursuing a master's, I, I thought of doing it here initially, but then, then after looking at the competition in India while preparing for CAT and other entrance exams, I thought it would be a very tough, uh, tough time for me. And then I opted to go abroad to study, to pursue a master's for a dream career. So initially, when I thought of pursuing a master's abroad, everyone asked me to go to the United States of America because it's, it's a land of opportunities, it's a land of new discoveries and everything. But for me, for my personal dream career, I thought America would not be a suitable option because of the very less success ratio of applicants getting getting to America during the presidential elections 2016. I decided, I was in a jinx, I didn't know what to do. I was really in a tough situation, but then I decided Australia would be a better option because in Australia, there are a lot of business opportunities. The career, career wise is very good. The lot of the teaching in the university is amazing. You get a lot of mentors who are always ready to help you 24-7. There's a 24-7 online website where you can put your queries. All the assignments and everything is done online. You have to, there are a lot of presentations that you need to submit, a lot of reports you need to write. There's a lot of panel presentation that you need to give to people who are coming from the real companies from outside. So I started my journey in 2016. So initially, uh, Australia, everyone said Australia is a land down under and there are not many opportunities there. But if you ask me, I would say opportunities rarely come knock your door. It's you who have to go out into the market and pick up, pick them up. So I finally, I started applying for many universities and I've, I've shortlisted seven universities after many consultations and many recommendations. So these are the seven universities. It's University of South Australia in Adelaide. It's University of Melbourne in Melbourne. It's University of New South Wales in New South Wales, Sydney. RMIT University in Melbourne, Macquarie University in Sydney, New South Wales and Wollongong University in New South Wales. So after, after shortlisting these seven universities, I went to the course structure, went to the course curriculum. This seemed very surprising for me as many of the courses that these universities were offering were really suitable for the career that I wanted to pursue later. And so as I, went, I went forward, I started applying for universities and it was a very good chance for me to get into any of these universities. And so all you have to do when giving when applying for universities in Australia is you have to write an IELTS test and for writing an IELTS test you need to score a 6.5 minimum people started working from right 6 in the morning which was a, which was a very uh, it, it seemed really new for me because I didn't know anyone in Australia when I went there there was no one I knew the people I never met before my student life was everything that I expected it to be it was fun it was tough it was highly rigorous there was assignments coming up every weekend I had a lot of assignments to do every weekend, but I loved it. I loved the busy life. And it was very opportunistic for me because I could, I could also work for 20 hours a week where I could earn my own expenses to uh, spend over there for while, even while studying. I'm currently studying in RMIT University in Melbourne. I've been there for almost a year and a half now. I went there in July 2016. It's March 1st, 2018 now. And I, I, I'm doing Masters of International Business there, which is specialized in finance which is out of my interest that I've taken, but there are a lot of other specializations that anyone can take. There's accounting, there's supply chain and logistics, there's project management, there is, you can also, they also offer business and IT together, which is, which is very interesting and fantastic. Otherwise, RMIT has a lot to offer. You get mentors for individually, for yourself. You can go to like three or four mentors, you're guided by three or four mentors, you can fix an appointment, you can go meet them once or twice a week. You can tell them about your inquiries, about your assignment, if you have any doubts in your assignments, or if you're lagging behind any of the subjects, if you don't understand your subjects, you can leave an email to your professor and latest of 24 hours, your professor is going to reply back to you, coming up with an advice for you that'll, that'll help you in the best way possible. The assignments are also structured in a very good manner, that is up to date, that, that actually relates to the present world situation. For instance, I studied a subject called International Strategy, where you have to actually work in a simulator in a simulator project with four other five other people where you're given a lot of tasks so i was given a lot of tasks in my project so i had to take care of 
the finance part, my friend was taking care of the marketing part, other guy was taking care of the advertisement or the sales part. So this was, it, it was actually fun while we were doing it, but at the same time we gained a lot of knowledge about how the markets, how the marketing and everything across Europe, across Asia Pacific and across Australia were. I, I also had a discussion with a panel where I had to talk about corporate governance, I had to talk about artificial intelligence, big data and it also, this, so this shows I am no way related to big data, I have, my course is no way related to artificial intelligence but still as a business student my university would like to offer their students a lot of diverse opportunities where you can actually utilize it to your best, you will actually know what is happening across the world currently in the USA, the, the current exports and imports situation in the USA, the current government, government governance in the uh, Europe after the Brexit incident happened. So my university has a lot to offer and for, even for business, I would, I would personally suggest that it's very nice for business, very nice for accounting and finance and logistics supply chain management. But there are also other universities where there, there are a lot more diverse opportunities, diverse courses that you could do. And I'm also looking, so there, there are always career fest every year that will be held in a palladium by the university itself. So a lot of companies like KPMG, Deloitte, Ernest & Young and many other companies from across the world, they come there, it's your chance, go there, speak with them, get an interview with them, get your job, settle down, live your dream career. Australia is amazingly fun, it's fantastic. I would suggest every student, everyone who wants to pursue a master's in business, to apply for these universities that I mentioned and the opportunities are booming right now. Please come there. Cheers. Thank you. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.